So, O's. Does it actually make you better at clicking heads, or is it just a thing we say to get normies into the game? What's going on guys, it's me Ste here, and today I will talk about O's and how it affects your aim. Now, it should be obvious, but before I get on with the video, I just want to clarify that I'm talking about playing O's with a mouse. Well, fuck. But then again, it's kind of on you if you expect it otherwise. So, now to get back to the video. Does it? Yes and no. Now what do I mean by that? Well, you see, O's is a 2D game and FPS typically are 3D, so it doesn't really translate one to one. But what it definitely does help you with is mouse control. You know that feeling when you hop into a game without warming up and you just can't hit anything? Well that, that is what it helps with. Also, when playing high AR jump maps, it can definitely improve your flick aim as well as your reaction time. But it will definitely never be as effective as training in Kovex instead. Which directly leads into the next big point as to why you should use O's to train your aim. Especially when you're not that serious about being competitive, it can be really frustrating to play an aim trainer because they are incredibly boring. To use them effectively, you literally have to spend hours sitting in a white room to click on generic targets. Now, the O's hit circle doesn't look a lot more appealing, but that's not the point. Because what O's does is it gamifies your improvement. Which makes sense, since primarily it's a rhythm game, which only just so happens to have the extra function of being able to be used to train your aim. Meaning it has its own content loops to keep you interested. Meaning that instead of clicking on randomly appearing targets in a white room only to see your score go up by like 5% in a month, you can instead alternate between tens of thousands of maps each with their own unique patterns, as well as background music which each feel rewarding, since especially in the beginning it's really easy to increase your score by a lot, plus if that's not enough for you you can even hop into multiplayer and play against your friends or other people. All of which helps to keep you motivated to keep improving and even to play the game regularly. Now, the reason this is so important is the same reason as to why when you learn an instrument, you wouldn't just play the same chord over and over again. That being the fact that the only way to improve in a skill is by consistently practicing it. And while it might be more efficient to just play the same chord over and over again until you can consistently play it, it's going to be incredibly frustrating and boring, so you're probably not going to keep it up for a long time. And the same thing applies to your aim. If you practice 5 hours a day and then never again, it's not going to improve by much, but if you instead practice a bit every single day, it's going to improve a lot faster and a lot more effectively, and O's just makes this a lot easier because it actually keeps you motivated playing. Now, I as someone who has used both O's as well as Kovex to improve my aim can definitely attest to that, since it's overall a lot harder to motivate myself to play some random aim training instead of trying to set a new top play. Da -da -da! Now, for the second part of this video, I want to go over how to actually use O's to improve your aim. Since depending on what type of skill you want to practice, you're going to play a lot of different maps than you would normally. Now, if you're just starting out with O's after this video, it doesn't really matter what you play, just play low 1-2 to two star maps and try to hit them as accurately as possible, and once you transition to 3 stars, you can actually start to focus on the different kinds of skills you want to practice. That is because before that point you're probably completely not used to 2D aim, meaning you would probably fail most of those maps. But honestly, don't worry, it'll probably only take a few hours before you get to the point where you can confidently pass low 3 star maps. And grinding for 100% on 1 or 2 star maps is pretty worthless since they're basically snooze fest simulators. Anyways, let's get on with the recommendations. Da -da -da! First up, if you want to improve your flick aim, that's probably going to be one of the easiest things in O's, since for that you're going to need jump maps, and lucky for you, they are actually the meta in O's right now. Now, in terms of song recommendations, I'm going to link to another video which recommends a bunch of 3 star jump maps, but here are some of my personal recommendations. And once you've moved past that point, just play any of the hundreds of jump farm maps that are out there. 
Now, if you instead want to improve your tracking, there are multiple ways you could do that. The most effective of which would probably be playing streams, but honestly, if you can play streams, what are you doing on a video like this? So what you want to do instead is play slider maps as well as maps with lower hit circle sizes. Here are some of the maps I would recommend. And lastly, if you want to improve your precision or your reaction time, just play with either hard rock or double time, but you should probably only do that once you're actually confident in the game, since otherwise it can be a really bad habit forming. Also something you should definitely watch out for, even if you only play the game to improve your aim, definitely try to hit at least 95% accuracy, cause in case you ever actually end up enjoying the game, otherwise you're going to have a lot of issues trying to relearn it since accuracy and combo are the most important things in determining your score in O's. In conclusion, I just want to say O's is an absolutely amazing game. You can definitely use it for aim training. It might not be as effective as Kovacs, but it's definitely a lot more enjoyable. And I really hope that you are going to give it a try. And if you do, please make sure to let me know how it went down in the comments below. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed or found it at least somewhat helpful. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see ya.